You know, it, it often amazes me. We're almost the same age. I'm older than you, but as a child of the 60s, I never thought we'd be here in some ways, good ways, but mostly bad ways. I thought we'd have gotten over so many things we haven't. And we're living these times when, again, after marriage equality, it seemed to me that transgender was just around the corner of, of acceptance mm. and openness. And now we're in these times where we're at least from above, maybe not from below, but there's these incredible retrenching and things are worse. Why yeah. don't we talk about that a little bit? And I know you write about it in your <laughs> columns, but describe the current situation and what well, your concerns we're a, are. We're in a situation where all of the progress that we made over the last 10 years or so uh, is attempting to be rolled back um, by this administration. And it is, um, what's interesting is that they, they've got a number of issues that they're, that they're, they're, they're pushing through or trying to uh, legislate or trying to just accomplish by um, executive order. And my theory is this, that it's not, it, it's not that they want, they really care about transgender people in bathrooms because mm. they've actually been in bathrooms mm. with transgender yeah, people whether for, they know for, it or not. <laughs> for decades and decades yeah, without yeah. knowing it, both yeah. in the men's room and in the women's room. Mm. Um, it's not about transgender service in the military because transgender people have been serving mm -hmm. um, and include, and the, the former um, uh, deputy secretary of defense, Amanda Simpson, mm -hmm. um, is a transgender woman. Yeah. Um, uh, it's not about. Uh, it's not about any of this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it's not about. It, it, what they're trying to do is to simply say there shouldn't be transgender people. Yeah. We. It's, it's just. It. it there, we should just. Um, this whole thing um, makes us. It, it is a, is the the kind of society we don't want to live in. We don't want to live in a society in which um, something that seems as um, certain to us mm -hmm. as as maleness and femaleness is is uh, less dependable. It destabilizes the world. So they're trying essentially, as Randy Newman once sang, they're mm -hmm. trying to wash us away. Yeah, and um, and yet we're still going to be here because guess what? We've always been here. Well, well, I'm wondering if it's more than that though. It's not this in one world with transgender people. I wonder if there, I, maybe I should change it. I was going to say straw men, but straw women. Um, the 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 point is it seems to me i see similarities between between the the reactions that are happening about transgender and immigration in the sense that that i i can i always should i can't remember with goering or or girdle goebbels who said that that to make people do what you want it doesn't matter whether you have democracy or dictatorship just make them afraid that there are mm. that transgender people are convenient label of people you should be afraid of because your children might be and immigrants you must be afraid of because they might take over your jobs and it allows you to more effectively control people. Right, because what do I actually want from people? Mm -hmm. Turns out nothing. Yeah. I want to be left alone. Mm -hmm. I want to teach my classes. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to uh, ride my bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> I want to. I want to bake some bread. I want to play the piano. I mean, m my my existence doesn't come at the price of anyone mm -hmm. else's yeah. anything. And somehow they've they they're met, they're trying to twist it around so that my going about my business will come at the price of. Um, and I don't know what the price is. I guess it's at the very least it's someone's view of the world that um, uh, that that people are being deprived of a world in which in, in which in which I ought not be allowed to exist, or that it, it'll change. I mean, again, it'll change your children. I mean, the big thing about gay for a long time was, oh my goodness, if you have gay teachers or gay foster parents, they're going to make the kids gay. Yeah, there must be some of that where people say. We have transgender people. They're going to want to make your kids. Right, they're going to convince right. their kids that boys they shouldn't be boys. Yeah, right. Um, in fact, there's a whole conservative movement now that's mm -hmm. that is now up in arms about transgender, um, trans men mm -hmm. coming out in um, high school and in college. Um, that were that it's that it's a that it's a fad. There's a woman. Yeah. There's a woman from the um, who published a piece in the Wall Street Journal about the epidemic. Yeah. Um, and. Um, yeah. It's as if somehow people are entering into the most <laughs> profound um, decision of their lives in the same way that they decide, you know, to, I don't know, uh, 
you know, go to a Miley Cyrus concert. Yeah, or yeah or right? yeah. wouldn't it be so much or fun to enter into something that's going to put me in an, a difficult position for the rest of my life? Hey, that's something I want to do. Easier. Yeah, and result in in sterilization mm. and and um and marginalization. The same way they see it about gay people. Yeah. It's a fad. Oh, it's a it's a fad. You know? They've even admitted um, there is a document came out that shows that in fact they they knew all along that um, transgender people pose no threat in 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 public restrooms, mm -hmm. but they could use it as a bludgeon. A bludgeon. In exactly. fact, more. More Republican congressmen have been arrested uh, for solicitation in uh, public restrooms than transgender people. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah.